Hey coach, I just wanted to take a second to tell you how special you are to me, what you've meant for my life. Some of my greatest and most important memories have come from the time when I was on the Murray County football team back in the 90s. The culture that you created, the motivation you provided, the things you taught us about discipline and attention to detail, and faith and loyalty have stuck with me and are a big part of who I am today. You're a special man, and I am fortunate to know you and to have played for you. Coach Napier's John Harker, sending you best wishes and say thank you for how much you've meant to me and how you've helped shape my life. You always took the time with kids to teach, to develop, to nurture, on the field and in the classroom. You've been a wonderful Christian role model. You've instilled loyalty, love for family, love for community, and there's so many that look up to you and respect you. I love you. Thank you for all you've done. God bless. Hi, this is Coach Mac Brown. Good luck moving forward, Coach Napier. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Bill, first, congratulations on a great career. I'm just so proud of you and all that you've done and, and, and in coaching and all your victories. And uh, We've been very lucky to have you in our profession. Uh, you've affected so many young people's lives for, for so many years, and we're just so proud of you and proud of that. And. Uh, and then also just uh, hang in there. We know you're fighting a tough disease and it's it's not easy, but you're a competitor, you always have been. I know exactly how you're handling this and and we're here for you, thinking about you all the time, praying for you and just good luck. And uh, if you ever need one of the Browns to help you, we'll always be there for you. Hey Coach Napier, it's Watts Dantzler. Um Sorry I couldn't be there today. Just wanted to let you know how much I'm thinking about you and have been praying for you over the past year. Um, I know how difficult ALS can be, um, as we went, my family went through it with my dad, and I'm sure it's been extremely tough on you and your family. Um, just wanted to say keep fighting, keep uh, battling hard, and uh, one thing of encouragement that my dad said every day as he battled ALS was, I don't know um, what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. Thinking about you, Coach. Hey, Coach Napier, it's Aaron Murray from the Kansas City Chiefs. Just want to let you know that we're thinking and praying for you. God bless. Hey, Coach Napier, Todd Gurley here. Just wanted to say we're thanking and praying about you. God bless. Go dogs. Coach Napier, Peyton Manning here. Just wanted to wish you all the best. Tell you that you'll be in my thoughts and prayers. And I know a lot of people are pulling for you. Just want you to know that I want to be added to the list. And uh, I know you got a great family and friends there for this celebration. And I'm honored to be part of the video. And uh, once again, wish you the very best. Pulling for you. Thanks. Hi, Coach Napier. This is uh, a fellow coach, Vince Dooley. And like so many others, uh, we look with you with great uh, pride and respect and admiration. Uh, we've got a lot of prayer groups going for you. So God bless you. We love you. I know what you're going through because I had three of my football players that also had this, uh, this terrible disease. God bless. God bless you and your family. We love you. Hey, Coach Napier, this is Dabo Sweeney up here at Clemson. Uh, just wanted to uh, take a minute, first of all, to just tell you that uh, I've always had such great respect for you and your family and uh, how you've always done things. And I just want to thank you for what you represent and, and the impact that you have made on so many uh, young people and also uh, coaches. Uh, I know that uh, today is a, a special day and a day that, you know, hopefully – uh, we can help raise some money uh, to help you combat this horrible disease that you're battling. Uh, so uh, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, everybody will get behind this and, and, uh, and support the cause. But uh, you're a great man, and I just, just want to thank you for the courage and the determination that I know that, that uh, you're bringing to every day that you wake up in, in, in fighting this disease and the example that you are to, to many others. So uh, hope it's a great day and uh, God bless. Hi, I'm Nick Saban, and on behalf of the University of Alabama football program, uh, I just wanted to take a moment to honor Coach Bill Napier. The great job that he's done in our profession and how he's provided leadership, uh, set a great example for so many players that he uh, helped be more successful because of his leadership and the inspiration that he provided to each and every one of those young men. Uh, I know is very much appreciated. Uh, that's what makes our profession special. That's what makes Coach Napier so special. Uh, he also provided the same kind of leadership, 
caring and direction uh, because of the kind of program that he had to the entire community. It was something that the community could relate to. It's something that the community was affected by, you know, in a very positive way. Um, you know, we really, really support Coach Napier in his battle against uh, ALS, uh, and we, he's really an inspiration to all of us uh, in how he's competed against this disease, how he has overcome adversity, uh, been very positive uh, in the fight, um, and been a tremendous example for us all of how to stay focused on the vision of what we want to accomplish and what we want to do, not the circumstance that we may be in. Uh, and I think this is a, a tremendous tribute to a tremendous man uh, in Coach Bill Napier, and um, we just wanted to acknowledge the fact that we have a tremendous amount of respect and admiration for all he's done for our profession, uh, the community, uh, and the great inspiration and example that he sets for all of us and how he battles this disease. This next coach needs no introduction. He's roamed the sidelines for over 30 years. You know him as Bill Napier or Coach Napier, but to me, it's just Coach Nate. Let me tell you a funny story on Coach Nate. Miss Napier, please close your ears. <laughs> Anyone who knows Coach Nate will understand he'll drop whatever, literally whatever he's doing to go throw football. Well, on this particular Sunday afternoon, Coach slipped off when the miss was at the store to cook dinner, to run to go throw football in Dalton with us. Coach said she had to get home after multiple missed phone calls or she wouldn't cook for him again. <laughs> we continued to grow closer and closer, and we got better with each repetition. We drew up many plays that I hoped we eventually run. We won many games and lost games. However, all that changed one day, and football seemed a whole lot less important. Coach came in and addressed the team. He spoke to the team and informed us of his condition. The team prayed over you. All I remember is crying for 30 minutes after the team had left, and I hugged you. You kept telling me everything was going to be okay, and God has a plan. This is another example of Coach Nate putting others first. Even though he was hurting, Coach Mark Tidwell spoke to us about his book, Leave a Mark. He says, be an impact, be an influence, be intentional. I believe Coach Nate has fulfilled all these things. From this point forward, the team rallied around Coach Nate. As hard as it was for Coach, he never missed a workout or an early morning in style. He was there supporting and motivating. When things got tough, we felt like giving up. You were my teammates, my coaches, and also my motivation. Coach Nate, you and I have spent a lot of time together, and I'm thankful for that. We want to thank you for the countless hours you've put in this program and all the time you've taken away from your family. We're beyond grateful for that. I appreciate the advice you have given the leadership you've shown, and most importantly, the man of God you are. You have been a tremendous role model, and I hope and pray that someday I can be half the man Coach Napier can be. I want to leave you with a quote I got from Jimmy V's ESPY speech that best sums up what we think about Coach Napier. This disease can take away all my physical abilities. It cannot touch my mind, it cannot touch my heart, and it cannot touch my soul. And those three things are going to carry on forever. Thank you for everything you've done for this team and me, and also God bless you and your family.